After a few months of hard training in the Baltic, U-564 was finally ready for combat operations in the North Atlantic. With a belly full of fuel, food, and torpedoes, she departed Kiel on 4 June 1941. Her destination is Grid AM, just off the coast of Ireland, where she will intercept convoys going to and from Canada and the United Kingdom. U-564's mission is simple, sink as much allied shipping in the Atlantic and make it back home alive. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to U-Boat. The latest patch for U-Boat B128 just dropped a few days ago and it adds quite a few new improvements to the game, many of which were much requested from the community. But as you can see, we are setting sail in U-564. We are departing Kiel at the moment. Unfortunately, my older save was no longer compatible with the new version of the game, so we are starting anew. And there we can see Kiel in the background. And that really brings us to one of the first uh, major improvements of this new patch, and that would be the map. As you can see, the map is completely top down, which is quite nice, and it has this paper-like texture to it, and also shows you which countries are occupied by the Axis powers, or the Allied powers, as we can see down here. Overall, the map is a significant improvement from what we had previously, and uh, I really think the devs did a pretty good job with this one. Um, really happy to have it. Yeah, significant improvement on the whole. It also tells you when various offensives are starting, and as it is June 4th, 1941, we may see that uh, pop up here soon. But that brings us to our patrol area. We're going to patrol awfully close to the United Kingdom here. We're patrolling grid AM, A8, uh, AM9, and AM6 all together in this area so it's going to be quite interesting that is for sure we may go off into the irish sea depending on how we're feeling but i do think that will be a good way to get ourselves killed but it will be exciting nonetheless there were also various graphical and performance improvements to the game and there's more difficulty options like um a new economy system so uh, as the war chugs on more and more items will become more scarce and harder to afford as you can see we only have 380 renown here and due to how expensive torpedoes are oh uh, we don't have a full load of torpedoes unfortunately we are missing two torpedoes here in uh bow torpedo storage so we'll just have to make do with that and uh get more renown after this patrol i don't think it'll be an issue once we get started but i just couldn't afford any more torpedoes uh for our first patrol but other than that, the boat is completely stocked up with fuel, food, and all that good stuff. We also have quite a bit of deck gun ammunition. I did set up all the crew management stuff, so U-564 is really ready to rock and roll at this point. So with all that out of the way, I guess we'll continue on our course. Let's bring this up and head up here. As you can see our course, we're moving around Denmark. Unfortunately, the Kiel Canal is not modeled in the game, so we have to go all the way around, which is fine. And I actually want to jog... Oh, man. I do want to jog our course further north just to avoid any aircraft uh, operating in the area. I'd really rather not get caught with my pants down by a Wellington or something. That could prove uh, bad for our health, really. Okay, and with all that, I think we're good to go. I think we'll continue on our merry way, and of course, as usual, if we encounter anything, you folks will be the first to know. Okay, we've been picked up by an enemy aircraft. I'll head full, send that to BDU. I'm going to get... Uh, Wolfgang here on the flag gun if at all possible get on there oh boy this is not not good at all the reason I assigned him onto the flag gun is because he's already on the conning tower it's a short walk let's change course and I'm gonna get two more men there all ahead flank I gotta dodge some bombs now Okay, the enemy aircraft is coming in fast. It totally snuck up on us, which is kind of surprising, to be honest. We'll see. It's getting a little close. All right. Where is she? 
Did we completely lose it? All right, feel free to fire at will. Okay, he's been given the order to fire at aircraft. Okay, let's change course a little bit. Looks like the looks like a Sunderland from here, and take a better look at it. Yep, sure is. Oh boy, it's firing its machine guns. see how it comes around all right continue turning hard to starboard hopefully my okay we're opening fire with our machine gun let's see if we can hit it here and it's coming in i'm really worried about its bombs oh man it's getting hit quite a bit let's take a look at it yeah you can see the anti-aircraft pups going off around it Currently making only 12 knots. Kind of surprising, to be honest. We're going that slow. Let's straighten up. Getting pretty close to it, hitting all around it. The machine gunners are still lighting us up. Absolutely terrifying. Come on, Wolfgang, you can do it, buddy. I believe in you. I guess I could always get on the machine gun. I don't know if I'm going to be much better than Wolfgang. I don't think I am. <laughs> I'm going to let him do the gunning. He is definitely a much better gunner than I. Okay, the Sunderland's coming right at us, though. Okay, change course. All right, get me on it. Put me in, coach. That's a lot of bombs. Ooh. All around us. Oh, leaks on board. Oh my God, the game is lagging. It's so bad. Okay, pumps on. Starting to repair damage. We're taking on like, quite a bit of water here. Let's get you on that. With a few wounded crewmen as well. Looks like a lot of the damage was in the bow though. Nothing too crazy. Whatever that that thumping noise is, that sound effect is awful. Okay, how's the Sunderland doing though? I, I looked like I tore into it. Oh yeah, she's not looking too good at all. Okay, change course. It has to be almost out of bombs, right? We can hope. It's coming back in for another pass. Hopefully it has no more depth charges. It looked like it dropped a full pattern on us previously. There we go. She's going down. Oh, boy. Don't hit us. Don't hit us. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was a little close for comfort. All right. Send that to BDU. Good job. Good job, boys. Oh, my goodness. That was... Oh, it's floating. I guess it is a flying boat. Can't have that. All right. Uh, you can get off the flat gun. Let's make sure all this damage. Okay, we had a small leak in the bow torpedo room, but get that water out. Get the water out of the officer's room as well. Got the pump on. We should be doing okay. All right, we should probably return on our original course. Well, that was quite exciting. Injected a little bit of excitement here. Thus far, we hadn't really picked anything else up. Let's reduce speed as well while we undergo repairs. Okay, Wolfgang, my friend, you can get off the machine gun, or the anti-aircraft gun, excuse me, and turn to your duties. This guy's carrying water to the bilges. All right, flooding's under control. The leaks have stopped. We definitely have a slight list in the bow, but that's all right. Okay, we picked up some propeller noises here, a tiny group consisting of three to six ships, and now we have spotted their chimney smoke. Yeah, I did surface the boat in an attempt to get in front of them, which I am doing now. We'll go ahead and get our radio operator on, even though he is tired to send this to BDU, and now you can go back to sleep, my friend. Poor Moeller, I'm working him to death. 
Okay, and we'll try to get in front yeah, of these contacts. I'll assign two more men to the diesel room, and we're going to go all ahead flank. Start making 18 knots here. Weather conditions are pretty good. As you can see, it's a little bit choppy, but other than that, it is very clear. So we'll have to be on the lookout for any aircraft operating in the area. And we'll use some more time compression to try to get a little bit closer to these contacts. Nice and easy. It is very possible this could be a group of destroyers. Which would uh, definitely not be uh, too good for us. Looks like Mueller is getting some rest so he can hop on the hydrophone once we submerge. He'll be tired but he'll still be able to do it. Getting awfully close to these contacts now. Once we hit that bend, we'll be around nine kilometers away. I'm so, can't believe we. Guess we see the chimney smoke, but I can't believe we don't see them. Let me let me get on here. Let's just do a quick sweep. See if there's anything out there I can see. Oh, oh, there they are. There's a bunch of destroyers. How do you not see those? Well, that's not good for our health. Okay, let's change course slightly. Yeah, it looks like a tribal class destroyer. And our RDF antenna got in the way. Then maybe another, another tribal class there. I can't make this one out just yet. There's two destroyers there, I think. Okay, interesting. So two destroyers. Oh. Not sure this is something I really want to attack at the moment. Let's see, they're still pretty far away though. I don't even know if we'll be able to get into position to attack. Uh given our circumstances. But let's go ahead and dive. I don't want to stay on the surface. They are awfully close. Periscope depth, please. Let's go ahead and get Rudolph here on the hydrophone. Let's see what he can hear. All right, let's get down with a little sense of urgency. Do not want to start getting sh shot at. Okay, decks are awash, looking good. I don't think we'll be able to pull off an attack here, to be honest. But we'll continue to move towards them. Let's drop speed down just a little bit. If anything, we'll be able to get a better look at these contacts. I think an attack is almost impossible, though. They're going to be too far away. Our torpedoes don't have that sort of range. Okay, destroyer's in sight. All right. Let's see. Four kilometers, actually. Interesting. All right. Let's take a look. Raise our scope a little bit more. We can take one of them out work rather well okay so which one will be the best to attack the tribal there's a corvette in the back so a group of three warships feindlicher zerstörer auf 12 uhr e slash f class nope it's a tribal yeah Recognize, range the target to the top of the mass like so, set six kilometers, that's a little far. Angle on bow is almost 90 degrees right now. Support. The torpedoes aren't even preheated. Yeah, we're gonna, we're not gonna attack these guys. It's just not gonna go our way. I'd rather just lurk away until we find something a little more, a little more appetizing, I suppose. Oh boy, another tiny group consisting of one one ship. What's going on here? Previously, whenever we encountered just a group of one, uh, it was always a U-boat, which was kind of boring. We'll see if that is still the case in this new patch, I suppose. And we are just burning through battery power. Although going standard speed, well only be fully depleted in eight hours oh wow well. i don't even know if, yeah we're not even going to be able to intercept this tiny group underwater so 
Now that we are away from that group of warships, let's go ahead and surface the boat. No yeah, need. Like we're not going to attack that group of destroyers. It's just asking for trouble. I would if they were in a better position, but they were not. Uh, they were so far away, it would have been one heck of a shot. Okay. We have surfaced. Let's begin. Turn on our diesel compressor. Switch over the diesels. All ahead full. Let's intercept this small group just to see what it is. And you, my friend, can go. Okay, this lone contact was indeed just another Type 7 U-boat. So we are going to continue with our patrol, and hopefully we come across some merchant ships soon. Okay, we've picked up, actually, some cargo ships, and we also have another U-boat here, U-1005, that is currently submerged and heading towards the area. I'm going to let it do its thing. We're going to run alongside this transport vessel and see what's what. We're currently going full speed. It looks like two merchant ships, two enemy, one neutral freighter. Let's put some distance between us. I'm wondering what the submarine is going to do if it's going to fire a salvo of torpedoes. I can order it about and tell it to attack certain targets. It is booking it, though. I do want to try to put some distance between us and the convoy, although it looks like the convoy may be zigzagging ever so slightly. But we'll get we'll get in front of them just so we can uh, set up a good torpedo attack. And <laughs> this other type seven U-boat is getting nice and close to them. OK, I think now is a good time to submerge the boat. We are in good range. Periscope depth, please. Let's go ahead and get Rudolph on the radio so we can shoot off a message to BDU. And I'm very curious to see what this other U-boat does. Okay, send that. Said missing men on the dive plane stations, but they should hop on here. Yeah, they'll hop on. Perfect. Looking good. And down we go. Have him start warming up torpedoes. All right, down the periscope depth. Looking good. I'm going to have multiple torpedoes be warmed up at one time. And let's get you, my friend, on the hydrophone so we can hear these contacts. We'll continue to move at standard speed to try to close this gap and get close to these transport vessels. Managed to detect some freighters. Guessing it's this guy right here. Okay. Still not in visual range just yet, but they will be here shortly. Going eight knots underwater. And we're going to get nice and close for this attack. And the other U-boat is rapidly approaching. Low discipline, normal lighting. Okay, well, rig for blue. Let's see if that helps a little bit. And some of my men are tired, apparently. It's kind of surprising. go. All right, rig for blue. That helps. And we are pretty close to the target, so we can begin the identification and solution process. Up scope. And probably also reduce speed, but I do want to get as close as I possibly... Oh, my bad. I, wanna, I do want to get pretty close to the merchant ships before I fire my eels. Okay, here we go. Lock on target. Okay, locked. Let's identify. Empire Tower, no. Empire Explorer, recognized target. Apparently it is a Canadian vessel. Okay, to the top of the mast to establish the target's range. Set three kilometers out. That's not bad at all. Now here's the tricky one, speed. Let's slow down. Down to slow. If they're only three kilometers out, we can fire from this position. Fatigue is... Discipline's really bad. I didn't realize they were fatigued. All my officers are fine. It must be just some of the crew. Oh, well. They'll have to live with it. Start. Okay, and it's about to hit the stern. And... 
Seven knots. Reasonable. All right, lock on target. Angle on bow, almost 90 degrees to port. Do 80. Okay, unlock, next target. Trailing right Lock on high. target. Speed is going to be seven knots. A Norwegian one, range three kilometers. So 3,000 meters. There we go. Angle on bow. Unfortunately, we have to plug it in here. We are preheating our last two torpedoes. Perfect. Angle on bow. There we go. Set. Speed seven. Unlock target. So this one is going to be the farthest one. So we'll fire at, at her first. Let's try one more time to get an accurate range reading. Set. Three kilometers still. All right. Plug two more. Depth 1.5 meters because I'm not too sure about the... Oh. All four torpedoes are ready to fire. I'll probably shoot salvos then. Two's one and two flood. Two meters. Dispersion. Uh, we want to... We don't want a very big spread, 15 meters. Speed, 30 knots. Um, yeah, we'll do 30 knots. All right, tubes one and two. Los. All right. Okay, tube two away. Transition to the next target. Tubes three and four, flood. Depth, two meters. Dispersion, 15 meters. Speed, 30 knots. All right, tube three is flooded. Tube four is flooded. Tubes three and four, lost. All right. All four torpedoes are away. There we go. Let's take a look. Looks like they're running towards the target. Nice and normal. And this other U-boat is still lagging behind underwater. Okay, we'll use some time compression. We can see our torpedoes' wakes racing across the surface towards their targets. Hopefully, we get some good hits here. Now, these two torpedoes are going to run aft of merchant number one here, so they'll probably be on high alert once that happens. They, these are looking pretty good. Oh, yeah, these look really good. Okay, we'll take a look at this merchant ship as the torpedoes are on their final stretch. And we got two hits here, folks. As long as they go off, torpedo impact. Not bad. And number two. Oh, and we broke her in half. Absolutely brutal. All right. Well, that's one Empire Explorer going down. And we have our other two torpedoes racing towards the final merchant ship. And they missed. Wow. Okay. I wonder if they went in front or behind her. Interesting. Very curious. They may have gone under. Unfortunately, we will never know. Huh. Okay. Well, in that case, surface the boat. Get nice and close. And we can use the deck on ourselves now. It is quite choppy, so it will be difficult. As you can see, we have high explosives loaded up. Fire one, and I believe I missed. Okay. Number two. Direct hit. It shouldn't take too much to finish this merchant ship off. Good hit. Another good hit. There we go. Finally got a fire on deck. Another good hit there. I want to just continue laying down the pain. We have these guys bringing out more deck on ammo. Guy standing right there. It's probably not a place you want to be. And it looks like she's developed a list to port. I don't think she has much life in her now. I'll we'll probably hold off now. She'll sink on her own. Let's take a look. How are you doing? Oh yeah, not too good at all. Reduced speed, we'll run up alongside her. We can go ahead and begin turning on the diesel compressor. Why is morale so low? Too much work from officers and normal light. What a bunch of weenies. 
Okay, well, in any case, we're turning on the diesel compressor. Again, we're charging. There we go. She's sinking. All right, shoot that in. All right, another ship bites the dust. Okay, well, with that, we can continue on our merry way. I'm kind of surprised those torpedoes ran right under still. It, they looked really good to me, but... Um, I am curious if the drafts are bugged or whatnot, like they have been for a few of the other ships. Anyway, we'll train our gun forward, load up a little bit, and you can get off the gun. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this U-Boat video. It was fun to play, but I have to admit, I do miss the TDC mod, so hopefully that will become compatible with the new patch relatively soon, and hopefully I'll be able to use it for the next video. But nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like as it really helps out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.